how to create multiple Gmail addresses in one email account. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at how you can combine your Gmail. So this allows you to get your inboxes more efficiently, manage time, and do so much more with your overall productivity. For this, you're going to open up your mailbox and a lot of people don't realize is that Google or Gmail has a lot of advanced settings that you can explore, which can help you in creating multiple email addresses in one mailbox. Instead of having to log into your emails all the time, you can have one email be set up as your primary receiver. So for this, you're going to click on the settings icon on the top right. And once you click on your settings icon, you're going to click on see all settings. Now, once you click on see all settings, you have a bunch of different general settings, desktop privileges, shortcuts, snippets. Now, after that, you have this section called accounts and import. So if you scroll down, you can import from Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL, or even other webmails. And you can send Gmail as. So you can use Gmail to send from your other email addresses. You're going to click on add another email address and a pop-up window is going to open up. So I'm actually going to show it to you guys. So you're going to see this type of pop-up email and you can enter the information about your other email address. Your name and email address will be shown on the mail you send. So you can specify a different reply to address, but I'm going to be using, let's say it's via Butima at Google, googlemail.com. Then you have your next step. Once you do that, you guys will see your new mailbox will be added. Then you can see when replying to a message, always reply from the default address. No, reply from the same address the message was sent to. You can choose however you want to navigate. You can edit the information on both of these as well and make one your default as well. So if I go on ahead and use weabutima at googleemail.com, I can click on compose and you guys will see this is what it's going to send my emails from at googleemail.com rather than sending it just from my regular mail. I can do this with any of my emails. You don't need a special email address to do this. And you might ask, what's the purpose of doing this? I'll show you guys exactly what the purpose is. So let's say I have this address over here where I have business contact, okay? So I don't want to navigate and toggle between casual emails, promotional emails, my personal life, all of that. And let's say I have a university research that I'm trying to do. So I'm going to click on settings, click on CL settings. And once I click on CL settings, I'm going to go into accounts and import and then just click on add another email address. My email address is going to be Lily guides you at university.com and then I'm going to click on next step. Then we can add the password. So from here, we're going to add a suitable password. Click on add account. And after that, it has failed my authentication. I'm going to go back and change my credentials. Lily guides you at uni research. And then I'm going to click on next step, your connection using SSL, different. Okay, so it cannot reach to my server, which is why I'm going to opt for a different mailbox. So I'm going to go into my settings, going to see all settings and then click on account and import, add another email address. This is going to be at me or at goal at university.com click on next step at google email now for some reason it's being really buggy right now responded with 553 okay google just like that we have our free mail added now from here i am going to make this my default mail and i'm gonna send a mail to my other email I'm going to write this to myself and I'll show you guys this in the inbox and I'm just going to write test and test. Now you guys can see my actual email address and now we're going to go into my other email address which is via Butima and then in via Butima we're going to probably see the test email 
that is going to be sent from a different mailbox. So making sure it didn't, yeah, you guys can see test. And if I open this up at googleemail.com, it doesn't say at google.com, it says googleemail.com. So you can switch this up. Obviously, if you have your own domain, you can categorize this much better, but I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to show you guys the next step. So once you do that, you can actually create a better organizational system when you're using, you know, multiple different inboxes. You can go into your settings. You have your mail account. You can add another mailing account as well. So you can enter your other email addresses as well. You can grant access to your account. But what we're going to be doing is we're simply just going to save these settings. Then we're going to go into our inbox. And then in our inbox, we can choose multiple inboxes. So section one is bakhtiarfatma at gmail email.com and then section and the section name is going to be university work and then the second section is going to be my regular emails that i'm going to be receiving and this is going to be mail i'm gonna change my spelling of uni i change it to uni and just like that i've created two different sections for the two inboxes and i'm going to click on save changes at the bottom now, once I've done that, you guys can see my inbox is now either uni work or mail. And if I click on these, uh, either one of these, my information will be displayed. So the mails in those would be displayed. Currently, I don't have any mail in section one because I haven't received any in, in it. But just like that, uh, we are able to just manage our emails. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video